Hey BC, it's Billy here. Um, it is that time. I can't believe that we are finally um, at 200 subs. Even though if you look at my uh, subscriber count, it's uh, uh, around 2,000. Uh, a lot of those are subs from when I used to do uh, music uh, posts a long time ago. I used to post um, cover videos. If you go back and look through the videos, look through the feed, um, you'll see uh, videos from seven or eight years ago. Um, just me playing music with my guitar. Um, I've been in the VC now just a few months and uh, it's, it's been great. I want to thank all my subscribers. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Who would think anybody would want to watch uh, a fat, ugly uh, guy that knows very little about music but has has a pretty wide taste in music um, just talk about records you know but don't we all do that <laughs> we all watch uh, crazy stuff and, and I want to thank you guys for uh, for doing it I know we dedicate a lot of time and you've got a lot of uh, videos out there to watch you have, uh, definitely have no shortage of videos uh, to keep you entertained anyway um, I, I am right at uh, 200 uh, VC subs and like I said I want to thank you guys I can't say thank you enough um, so I want to uh, I put together uh, a contest for for 200 subs and I was thinking about all the different contests that we could have and I've been going back and forth for about a week uh, trying to figure out what I was gonna do and I, I think I finally came up with something fun I, I wanted to do something fun uh, to where everybody could participate uh, maybe not the, just the metal heads or not just the country heads because because you, you, you guys know I like metal I like rock and I love country um, and I show all that kind of stuff I, I even like rap and hip-hop um, but I wanted to make this uh, this a uh, friendly contest for everybody I want uh, I want all y'all to get involved and, and I hope all y'all make videos that would be that would be awesome um, heck if I get just ten percent of y'all to to make a video that that'd be great. You know, if I get twenty entries, I, I'll be floored. Um, any anyhow, um, like I said, I wanted to keep it fun. Uh, I wrote wrote down some uh, details here, so let me uh, let me read them off. Um, this is my two hundred subs contest, um, and we're gonna call it the name game. Um, what what we what I want you to do is uh, show an album from an artist or a band. Uh, for each letter of your name, uh, you can use your first name, uh, your full name, uh, your your last name, a nickname. Hell, even use your screen name if you want. Um, you know, it, it's just about having fun and showing records. You know, and, and talking about them. Uh, tell us something about the record, the band, or the artist. Uh, maybe when you first heard the record, uh, if you got a concert story, or you know anything else that might be interesting. You know, don't just say, you know, Billy, B, whatever, and, and you know, black Blackberry Smoke, <laughs> and then move on. You know, I, it's all about the stories. At least I enjoy the stories, and I get a lot of you guys leaving comments and sending me PMs to say you do like the stories. I know a lot of my videos get a little long-winded, and this one's likely to be as well. So hang in there, because I promise the good stuff's coming. It, if not in five minutes or ten minutes, it'll be coming. I promise. Um, so, you know, tell us something about the record, uh, that you're showing. Um, and then also, uh, your favorite song or favorite songs on that, that record. Um, so that, that, that's pretty well easy. Uh, it's a name game. Um, one artist for, or band for each letter of your name. And, and it can like be, you know, it could be Blackberry Smoke or Garth Brooks, you know, however you want to do it, mix it up. It, it, it's 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 your entry have fun with it um, the rules you must be subscribed to my channel um, uh, you must post your video with the title uh, Billy Hurst uh, 200 subs contest uh, name game something like that but just make sure you have Billy Hurst 200 subs contest in there um, and then you must leave a comment on this video I can't stress that enough um, my Facebook, or not my Facebook, but my YouTube um, and and Google uh, PMs are they're wishy-washy. They don't work. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. Um, 
So make sure you, if you post a video, uh, an entry, uh, make sure you come back to this video, leave me a comment, uh, preferably with a link. You don't have to link it, just at least leave a comment, let me know that you made a video um, uh, and a submission. Um, like I said, the PMs don't always work, so it, it's very important that you leave it on this, uh, leave a comment on this video. Um, the entries will be put into a hat. Uh, three winners will be drawn. Um, I'm, I was just thinking of having, you know, one big winner, but I thought, you know what, the, the more, the more the merrier. Let's let's have three winners. Uh, there won't be a first, a second, or a third, like a great prize and then a shitty prize. I'm gonna just have three winners, and they're all gonna be all gonna be good, good stuff. Um, so that everybody will go into the hat. Uh, the the first name picked will get the first pick of what they want. Uh, the second name picked will get the second pick, and the third name will get the third pick. Um, if your name is, is drawn, then that eliminates any of the other entries you may have in that hat. Um, we want everybody to have a chance to, to win something. Uh, and then there's a bonus um, for not procrastinating, uh, which is kind of what I've been doing here lately with taxes. That's why I've been so busy. I haven't made any videos. Uh, I procrastinated and, and uh, have spent like the better part of the last week uh, doing my business taxes and it, it's just killed me. So don't procrastinate. There's a bonus. Uh, anyone who posts their entry uh, before March 1st, so get it in uh, you know, by the end of the month, uh, you'll get your name entered into the contest twice. Uh, so you get uh, uh, two times. You're doubling your chance of winning. Um, but like I said, make sure you get uh, get that in by March 1st, and you'll get uh, two entries into the contest. Uh, the deadline for this contest is March 15th at midnight. So don't think, you know, don't post it on, on March 15th. You know, you got to get, get them in by 11.59 on March 14th, because on March 15th at midnight, it's going to cut off. Um, and I will post the, uh, the uh, winning video on the 15th. Uh, sometime during the 15th, I'll post the results. Um, remember, though, get these babies in, uh, get your submissions in by the 1st, and you get uh, two times, uh, you get uh, twice the entries. Um, now to the fun stuff, um, the prizes. So, the 200 subs prizes, uh, what I did is I went through and picked out... Uh, some pretty killer records uh, and there's a pretty good stack even though there's three winners there's a uh, there's a good stack of records here big stack of records here um, because I want you guys to be able to pick something uh, from from this list that, that you want and and I picked out stuff that I thought I would like and, and stuff that I think you guys would enjoy there's a pretty good good variety of stuff here so what we have is uh, from 1985 classic copy of Iron Maiden, Live After Death, Double, Live, LP, Gatefold. This is a um, record club pressing. No poster, but it's a beautiful pressing. Sounds great if you don't have it. It's killer. Another Iron Maiden uh, here, somewhere in time. This is the uh, 2014 uh, reissue, uh, 180 gram. Sounds great. Good songs. Uh, everything's complete on that. Next we have uh, First Pressing, Van Halen's debut. Beautiful copy, sounds great. Then we have uh, the um, Led Zeppelin 4, and this is the uh, Porky Peco Duck um, in the Dead Wax uh, variant um, from probably mid 70s but again um, beautiful gatefold has a, a little bit of damage here but the pressing is phenomenal it sounds killer uh, moving on Ozzy bark at the moon this is a uh, first pressing as well on the Columbia blue label Next we have The Doors 13. This is a comp. It's a, it's a hits comp. Beautiful record. Lots of great songs. Like I said, I'm trying to mix things up for you guys. <clears throat> Give you guys a, an opportunity to get something cool. 
Uh, this is a uh, third pressing of Kiss Destroyer from uh, 1977. Uh, this has the, um, shout it out loud, Kiss Army um, jacket, hard sleeve jacket, and the um, desert scene on it, on the label. So that is a third pressing of Destroyer. I'm just trying to move through these fast, guys. Next we have a first pressing of Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. First uh, record with uh, Ronnie James Dio on vocals. A um, first pressing of Dio's Holy Diver. Beautiful copy. Sounds great. Killer record. And then uh, from 86, uh, Queensryche, uh, Rage for Order. Uh, this one here, I'm not 100% sure if it's a uh, record club or... Or first pressing it, it doesn't say CRC or R on there anywhere so it's not not a Canadian or um, I just I can't really tell because the first pressing on um, on discogs looks a little different the cover looks the, the color of the cover looks a little different either way killer record uh, and then we have a rush lot you'll get uh, two killer rush LPs. The first one here is um, All the World's a Stage. It's their first live record. It's a double LP. And then Permanent Waves. Freaking killer record right here. Uh, Free Will is the big, uh, yeah, Spirit of Radio, Free Will, uh, Different Strings, Natural Science, and Jacob's Ladder. Good stuff. And then the last is a UFO lot. You'll get uh, three UFO records here. Uh, Obsession, No Place to Run, and uh, The Wild, The Willing, and The Innocent. So there you have it, guys. That is the uh, big, huge rundown of prizes. I'm going to show you uh, how this works here. So this is my kind of uh, uh, mock entry if you will so it would go something like this Billy my name is Billy I'm gonna show you B bad company uh, my first introduction to bad company was probably about 1986 I came on late uh, through a Columbia house uh, pressing uh, I think it was a, the CD club uh, and I got uh, 10, 10 from 6 whenever that came out. So that would have been 86, 87, 88, something like that. Um, but I, I chose this record because it's it, what a great uh, great debut record. I mean, uh, can't get enough, rock steady, ready for love, bad company, uh, moving on. Um, if I wanted to choose a, or if I had to choose a, a favorite on here, um, uh, that, that's tough. I'd probably have to say uh, I probably have to say Bad Company, uh, but I, I love the band. Paul Rogers' vocals are, are unbelievably killer. Uh, just a great rock and roll record. And then uh, I, Iron Maiden, Power Slave. Believe it or not, it was tough finding something with I that wasn't Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden was the first thing that came came to mind. Um, and I was like, well, let me let me try and find something a little different, but it was tough. I and you know I was pressed on time, so that's what I'm challenging you guys with. Come up with something uh, different. Come up with something cool, something unique. Um, but here we go, Iron Maiden, Power Slave. Uh, I came into uh, I was introduced to Iron Maiden late in the game, uh, probably not until uh, '88, '89. Uh, I had just gotten into high school. My buddy got his driver's license. We were riding back and forth from baseball practice, and uh, he had uh, some Maiden cassettes in there, and uh, this was one of them. And uh, the first time I heard uh, Aces High, I was I was hooked. So there you have it, Iron Maiden, Power Slave, Aces High. Uh, L for Billy, B I L. First L in Billy, Little Feet, Dixie Chicken. Um, again, late to the party, very late to the party. I just actually discovered this. This record, I only picked this record up a couple years ago. Um, 
but I knew of uh, Dixie Chicken from Garth Brooks being a huge country fan. Uh, Garth Brooks obviously uh, cut that on his, um, I think it was on uh, The Chase. Uh, so 1994, Garth Brooks covered that, and it was a huge hit for him, uh, and, and I really dug it. But when I saw this for like two bucks in a record store, a secondhand store, I thought, what the hell, I'm going to pick it up and let's see, and I love it. Um, there was actually, uh, there's, a, there's a handful of really good songs on this record. I, I can't, can't remember off the top of my head because it's been a few months since I've listened to it, but uh, their version of Dixie Chicken, I, I have to say, I actually, I, I enjoy it much more than Garth Brooks's version. Great record, good band, funky little band. Little Feet, Dixie Chicken, and the second L, B-I-L-L, Leonard Skinner, Street Survivors. Um, what can I say about these guys that I haven't said already in any of my previous videos? Um, you know, Ronnie Van Zant is probably one of, uh, I, I, I'd hate to say an early influence or even an influence on my uh, my vocals or my vocal style because I could never emulate, uh, I could only imitate what he do, he did um, vocally. The man was just had so much soul and uh, uh, any emotion in in his vocals and, and the lyrics that he wrote, killer. Um, this this was the band. I think it was only the band's fourth. Re I mean, fourth or fifth record. Uh, unfortunately, it was their last record um, with the original lineup. Um, but I think they were just hitting their stride and they were getting ready to take off. Um, it has such great hits on it like, uh, you know, What's Your Name, That Smell, I Know A Little. Um, but I'd probably say, I'd probably say my favorite cut on here, it, it's, it sounds, sounds weird, but um, Honky Tonk Nighttime Man, an old Merle Haggard uh, classic. Uh, that they redid, and it's just so freaking funky. I mean, these guys are one of the best rock and roll bands ever, but they played this country shit so good. And Ronnie did great. You know, Steve and, and Gary and everybody played uh, played their guitars. Uh, I, I don't know if it was... Uh, it, I think it was probably S Steve... Steve Gaines did the uh, the solo on it, and, uh, you know, the, the chicken picking stuff... Uh, just like Roy did on uh, on the old Hag record, and it's uh, unbelievable. So that's my favorite track off of off of here, off Street Survivors, uh, Honky Tonk Nighttime Man. And then uh, finally, B I L L Y, Dwight Yoakam. If there was a way, uh, love Dwight Yoakam. Um, I, I was torn between picking uh, uh, guitars, Cadillacs. Or, or this. Uh, I've already shown Guitars Cadillacs a couple times. This one I haven't shown. And it, it's a little bit harder record to find. It has some killer songs on it. Um, probably my favorite, uh, favorite track on this one would be Nothing's Changed Here. Um, I don't know, man. There's so many. You're the one. Turn it on, turn it up, turn me loose. It only hurts when I cry. But I'm going to say nothing's changed here without you. I start every day the same. Um, great record. Phenomenal vocalist. The, the guy's a, a, a country music legend. Uh, and, I, and I just I love his stuff. So there you have it, guys. That's, uh, that's how it works. Again, I'm going to go through and uh, read the rules real quick one more time. So... Um, like I said, just show an album from an artist or band for each letter of your name. You can use your first name, full name, last name, nickname. I don't care. Uh, just pick something and show some show some records and talk about them. Um, and also make sure you tell us about your favorite song on the record. Um, you must be subscribed to my channel. Post your video with the title, Billy Hurst, uh, 200 subs, name game, something like that. But make sure you have at least Billy Hurst, 200 subs in there. Uh, leave a comment on this video uh, letting me know you filmed your, uh, your submission. Uh, like I said, I can't stress that enough. Leave a comment on this video. Um, entries will be put into a hat. We're going to pick three winners. Um, the first name drawn will get first pick of all those killer records that I showed. Second name, second pick. Uh, third name third pick so whenever whenever I pull you out guys um, just go ahead and uh, you know send me your top three picks that way I, we don't have to keep going back and forth okay um, don't procrastinate 
Uh, if you get your entries in by March 1st, you get two. Your name goes in the hat twice, uh, so uh, doubling your chances of winning. Uh, the deadline, once again, guys, is March 15th at midnight. So get those entries in by March 14th. And March 15th, I'll have the uh, winners posted in a video. Guys, once again, thank you very much. Uh, 200 subs. I never thought that uh, it would... Uh, it would happen so quick. I, hell, I never thought I would, would even get close to that. But uh, uh, obviously, you guys like something. Um, and I hope you keep tuning in. Keep leaving your comments. Keep giving me likes. Um, and we'll see where this thing goes. Hopefully, we, uh, we can get up there uh, and have a 300 contest. Uh, 500, you know. Let's, uh, let's see where it goes. But guys, thanks again. Uh, Loving all the comments. There's so many great channels out there. Made so many good friends. Um, can't wait to see your entries. Uh, take care, guys. Peace.